Before I get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that YouTube is changing again. Now they're favoring engagements over watch time, so please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, share the video with your friends, and please click the little bell by my name so whenever I upload a video, it gets notified straight to your device. And this affects every single one of your favorite YouTubers, so if you could do the same for them, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. <laughs> Does Lion have something to do with Rose? It's a little obvious. Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm your host, Ostrich Vox. One of the many mysteries of Steven Universe is Lion. His origins, where he came from, his connection to Rose, etc. And while Buddy Spud gave us some more clues on what the future of Lion truly is or where he truly came from, one thing it didn't expand on is Lion's mane. As we know and seen multiple times in the show, there's a pocket dimension inside Lion. One that he refused to even let Pearl into. We've seen things like the Mr. Universe t-shirt, Rose's sword, the tape to Steven, Bismuth's gem, and a treasure chest. While people have always speculated what's inside the treasure chest, it became even more of a popular topic after Bismuth, as that seems to be the only mystery left inside Lion's main. So what's exactly in the chest? This is something I feel like a lot of people have high expectations for, and while that isn't bad, they might get disappointed. But before I get into what I think's inside the chest, or what I don't think's inside the chest, if you could click that little bell for notifications, that'd be greatly appreciated. So that way, whenever I upload a new video, you get it straight to your device. Also, give this video a like. As a lot of YouTubers have been saying lately, YouTube's prioritizing like engagements, likes, and comments over actual views now, so a lot of channels are losing views and promotions. This site's so weird. So a lot of people believe that the treasure chest is tied to Pink Diamond. Maybe her gem, maybe her shards. Rose obviously had a huge connection to Pink Diamond, being on her court and being the one to shatter her. And as we know, Rose kept many secrets. So this isn't outside of the realm of possibility. In fact, it's a pretty cool idea. I really enjoy the concept of Pink Diamond, or even just her shards, being right under our nose the entire time. Being hidden in plain sight. And a lot of people like to believe that it acts as a source for Lion's powers. The reason why he can warp around among his other extraordinary abilities. But Rose didn't have a lion. It seems like her stuff in there. However, I don't exactly agree with that theory. First off, we've seen that you can bubble any kind of gem, even shatter gems. And bubbling puts the gems in a stasis. Not to say Rose couldn't have put pink diamond shards in a bubble and then put it in a chest, but that seems like it's kind of overdoing it. Second of all, if you look at the chest, it just looks like a normal chest. While it's possible it has some magical properties around it, uh, it, it, look at it! There's a keyhole, like it looks like anyone can just walk up to it, and especially if you're a gem, just bust it open. It doesn't seem like a smart idea to put something as valuable as pink diamond shards within a treasure chest. Plus, it's a Steven Universe. The creativity of this staff and their art design is incredible. I feel like if they were gonna have a chest full of some big secrets, at least secrets pertaining to the gem war and homeworld, it would look a lot more dynamic than just a plain old treasure chest with a keyhole. In fact, the keyhole insinuates that anybody can open it. Rose is a very clever person. Even in death, she keeps many secrets. So wouldn't she have it so only her own gem can access the chest? And not just some fancy key that's buried god who knows where? I mean, being inside Lion already makes it hard enough to reach. And the chest looks like something Rose could have acquired over the years after the gem war like the Mr. Universe t-shirt. In fact, I'm inclined to believe this treasure chest came from during the era that we saw the gems and too many birthdays. It kinda looks like you guys and my mom. Oh, Steven, that is us. These outfits will later appear on Garden and Pearl and Amethyst, but not Rose, in the Buddies book flashback. While it's not exactly a pirate era, I could see Rose obtaining something during that time period that would be in a treasure chest that would go inside Lion's Mane. But what exactly? What do I think is inside that chest? If it's not Pink Diamond or something to tie to Homeworld, what could it possibly be? Well, I believe inside that chest is the origins to Lion. That seems like a logical conclusion to me. The gems don't know where Lion came from, but he's book only told us so much, and by so much, I mean very little. And Lion can't speak. But Lion's Origins is a huge mystery of the show, so it's something that needs to have an answer. Each episode focusing on Lion introduced a new aspect to his main. Steven's Lion just introduced Lion. Lion 2 the movie introduced Rose's sword, which is inside Lion. Lion 3 straight to video introduced the VCR tape. And while I'm skeptical if we're gonna get a Lion 4 just because 
we haven't had a lion episode since season one to have a lion episode and bring back that naming scheme it makes sense since it continues with the theme of lion focused episodes being lion this lion that but it's been also almost three years since lion 3 straight to video and by almost i mean next year either way if you ever do get another lion episode and that gives origins in a completely different way, similar how Buddy's book kind of expanded on Rose's pack of lions. I can see it being built around the treasure chest. Lion helping Steven find the key to the treasure chest. And when Steven opens it, he finds pictures of Rose's pack of lions, memorabilia she had from all around the world from the humans she encountered, and a handwritten note from Rose to Steven explaining where Lion came from, how she raised him, how she gave him his powers, and why she left Lion for Steven. Because after all, no one knows where Lion came from except for Rose. So the only way Steven could get an answer on Lion's origins unless Lion just starts talking English out of nowhere, which I kind of find unlikely, is if Rose tells Steven through either in their tape, which I kind of doubt because her message with Steven was only given to her through Greg's camera, unless she took Greg's camera and snuck another hidden message to Steven. But also, I just like to imagine something new. We already had the tape, now let's try a letter. It's old fashioned, but I feel like that'll still be more heartwarming. Rose left Steven a lion, a tape, and a handwritten letter, like she really loved this kid. And we know the show has not made us cry nearly hard enough yet, right? <laughs> right? But these are my thoughts and I want to hear yours. So please comment down below. What do you think inside Rose's treasure chest? Do you think it is pink diamond shards? Or do you think it's something simple, just like a letter to Steven about where Lion came from and a bunch of pinchers and memorabilia and just artifacts and stuff that she had around the world since the gym war ended? That it's just full of the things that she loves about Earth. Things that she felt were worth protecting to help Steven understand where she was coming from. Or do you want to be something big and crazy, something out of nowhere that nobody could have foresaw? Comment down below, let me know. Please click the little bell by my name for notifications. Whenever I upload, you'll be notified straight to your device. YouTube's been... Uh, lately. Please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitch. Everything is Roundtable Vids, and you want to follow me on Twitter or anybody else associated with the Roundtable, links to everything in the description. So don't forget to subscribe to our new gaming channel, Roundtable Gaming 2. If you have a dollar or two to spare a month, support us on Patreon for a lot of cool features. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Ostra Glotz, signing out. Thank you.